guys. My wife got me a lot of cool stuff for Christmas. This is just one of them. I don't know if you remember last year, I actually bought stuff from M uh, from AliExpress, sent it to my wife, and then she gave those to me. But this year, I didn't do that. I didn't think I was going to get anything, but I guess she went online and went crazy. <laughs> so this is one of the things you got me. It's one of those metal art pieces. So they come in sheets. Let me just open it. Okay, so... They come in these little metal sheets. They're just like laser cut, I believe. They're just amazingly delicate. I've gotten something like this before. I'll link it up here somewhere so you can see uh, my previous model. They're, they're all pretty amazing. But I think this is even more amazing than the uh, model that I had before. Technology is amazing. So that's all, I presume, laser cut. And so by the time we're done, we're going to have a bicycle. Let's see how many sheets it comes with. This one seems thicker than this one. Interesting. Yeah, it's the same, but this one feels thicker than this one. Maybe it's just because there's more stuff taken out of it. It, it has to be the same because these are the, the same kind of pieces. But, oh, it comes with tools. The previous one I, that I got did not come with tools, but this one comes with some sort of tool. Complementary pair of tweezers helpful to bend oh nice yeah I used to get I used to use these before in the previous one because I didn't give one so we'll we'll try this so the instruction is just uh, one sheet of paper two-sided though a lot of steps each sheet has the parts that's on them uh, numbered so on the first step here it tells you what part do you want so I need to look for that one in either one of these two sheets well that was nerve-wracking <laughs> it's fun but nerve-wracking I mean look at how tiny these things are so basically I had to uh, bend uh, two flat sheets into those circles so there's a tiny one over here there's a bigger one over here the bigger one actually has some join there you can see that it actually kind of like joined together and that goes through four holes and then the little ones also comes i think also four holes and on the other side basically they're bent 90 degrees the instruction is pretty clear so there are two kinds of Things you need to do to up to uh, assemble this either there's a blue dot saying that basically you want to bend it like that or a triangle which means you want to twist it yeah those triangles there so you put the little one first twist them and you put the big one on the other side and twist them and they're just so delicate I mean it was it was not that hard but it takes some patience to to do this yeah if you're not a patient person <laughs> don't get this but it is amazing i mean this is just it wastes like nothing here and you know all those pieces are the, the when i was trying to do the bending there it's just very very small i enjoy this it's like a what is it like meditation so <laughs> i'll continue on Check this out it's just amazing how delicate this thing is it, it weighs nothing like i said and it's just it's actually quite sturdy i wish it actually will run maybe it will have an axle in there i don't know but yeah you gotta really pay attention right like there is an arrow there and so there's another arrow over here that also points up and i presume if you get that wrong <laughs> things won't lined up and i think the next step is basically to uh pinch this together so that it becomes an actual like an actual bicycle wheel so they're they're small on there and the tires will go there somehow i think but it is a lot of fun thanks dl i'm, I'm having a blast guess we need to put the tires next
on step two. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even finished with step two, but it is just amazing. The tires are made out of two pieces. So there is one piece that has the uh, thread in there, but every single one of those thread has to be bent in because, you know, everything was flat. So everything was flat and then you have to bend it. Every one of these, I don't know how many, <laughs> how many uh, pieces. These are made out of little pieces that actually is bent and then it goes to the other side. And that other side actually has uh, some tabs. Let's see if you can see the tabs here. Yeah, right here. Some tabs there that takes the two outer pieces that the tire basically made out of two pieces. Making good progress. Check this out. That's just amazing. Yeah, I don't know how many pieces that was, but I'm only on step three <laughs> out of 15. So I got a long ways to go. If you guys like doing uh, crafts, get one of these. Uh, if you have no patience, do not get one of these. It requires quite a bit of patience, but it is very rewarding as you can see. It is like, I don't know how many pieces this was, but so many intricate little things. Um, yeah, each one of those uh, circular cylinders, uh, it's it's its own piece. You know, they're like one on the right, one it's like, yeah. You you could imagine there's no way to to bend the metal like that without having them separate. So every single piece of those is separate. I'm having a blast. Like I said, I'm only on step three. <laughs> This thing just full of surprises. It's a lot of fun. This guy right here is what I want to try to show you. It is a compound curve in two different planes. So here is a piece of metal, of course, one one flat piece that has to be bent to follow that curve right there. Meanwhile, <laughs> on the other dimension, there's uh, these vertical pieces, this guy right here and the one behind it. Those are vertical pieces that has to be bent to follow a different curve yet so you know the the bike rack if you look at down this way there is a curve right here that he has to follow right there so that's on the <laughs> it's still pretty hard I think but if I keep on rotating you you'll see what I mean that those two pieces has to be bent in a curve and those two curves have to meet and there's really no guide <laughs> you know like if, when it's 90 degrees you could just bend at 90 degrees but those two pieces they have to uh, curve in just the right shape such that the, the, the edges here would meet because otherwise you'll see a gap there oh mg <laughs> take a look at that i want to show you one more thing it's like this thing just kept on getting better or worse i'm not sure <laughs> i'm enjoying it the chain used to be like a little um cylinder here and then you say now twist it 90 degrees such that the printing could show up <laughs> so that was unnerving because like this whole thing is like really delicate but basically that chain that looks great now used to be twisted 90 degrees you could see up here how they are twisted 90 degrees on both sides and that has to be done without destroying this whole thing <laughs> So that was pretty cool, but the next one was really unnerving this piece here one two three four five six seven eight Points that has to get together to make this right here, and then you have to bend them around But uh, I don't know how long it took me. It took me some time because I didn't want to destroy it But yeah, those guys down here has to be put into those holes and then bent um, These guys up here has to be put into those holes and bent these guys up here but it is amazing i highly recommend this kit provided you have the patience i enjoy this kind of like the same enjoyment out of my making te lego technique you know like you, you could see the the care that's been given to the design and how they uh you know pay attention to make sure that they're working within the limits of the material here because you know you cannot make tubes and yet you know those axles are tubes i'm on step eight out of 15. <laughs> i guess i'm halfway but i'm not in a hurry it's like i'm having fun 
So even if it takes another week, I don't care. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, it's almost done. Here's the back fender, the front fender, similar curves. And here's the steering wheel. I think it's called steering wheel, even on a bike, right? It has a little bell. <laughs> here's a stand. So I should be able to get make a stand now. And then a couple more little pieces in here. But that's it. 15 steps. <laughs>